Oh yeah, that would have been good. <clears throat> You're up. Hey guys and gals, Pat over here at Felsmere Fishing Headquarters over here in Felsmere. Uh, got the two best captains on the water with me. Uh, we're gonna do a quick uh, fishing report. <laughs> and man, I'll tell you what, the fishing has been incredible. Uh, I've been out on Garcia. We were out on Garcia last night. I was telling Steve, it was crazy, Mike. You know, the rain finished, the wind died down. It was a nice ripple on the water. And I've never seen, we were fishing that stretch up in the northwest corner. There's a, that, we call it Angie's Ditch because that's Ricky's wife. Uh, she wore them out there one day, so we, we, we named it after her. And I'm telling you, man, I've never seen so many, we didn't catch them, but we, I've never seen so many giant fish surface in my life. I mean, I'm talking huge. Um, I don't know what it was. Uh, we couldn't get the big ones to, to bite, of course, because, you know, it was, they'd break over here, they'd break over there. Um, and then you find yourself wasting time chasing after them. But, but just to see them is, you know, pretty good indication that there's some really big fish feeding out on that flat because there's bait all over the place. A lot of the vegetation is really topped out over there, which makes it a lot easier to find the ditches if you don't have the electronics or whatever. And um, and you could see, you know, working those weeds edge was, I mean, a frog, a swim bait was a big deal. They were eating that damn Big Easy, that bruised copper Big Easy like crazy. You found um, it up on top? Or no, just... slow rolling it right through the right through the uh, hydrilla. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what I was doing was throwing it into the vegetation and just kind of working it across the top. I did get hit on top a couple times. But as soon as it kind of got to the weed's edge, I'd let it drop, and then I'd just start slow rolling it wham, every time right at the edge. Um, and, and a frog was a big deal uh, yeah, later in the evening. So, um, and I know Ricky was catching them on a swim jig. So, uh, but it was it was on fire. And Garcia's really low, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. Really, as a matter of fact, we were late to the weigh-in because we had to stop and help some kids out. They were uh, we'd come riding by up in that northeast corner, that flat right there. You come out of that channel and you go hooking it into the lake. Guys, there's maybe six inches of water there. Um, I mean, you're fine if you stay on it because it's, it's really, it's just muck. Um, there's one stump that we're gonna put a PVC pipe there, but it's kind of sticking out right now. But we'll have a PVC pipe out there tomorrow um, to mark it with a little flag. But um, other than that, um, this guy was out of the boat, kind of pulling it with the damn rope. And so we mm -hmm. had to set down in that mud and, and help these guys out. And uh, we got them back safely. So everything worked out good. But the water's getting low all over the place, and these guys will tell you about some of the other lakes. Uh, what's going on out there, Steve-O? I'll tell you what, I got three main things that I want to let everybody know about. Um, the shiner fishing, the artificial fishing, and the speck fishing. The crappie are on fire right okay. now. Blister them. Uh, my last five trips, we've gotten three limits within three to four hour range. All on artificial. Mm. All artificial. So if you guys are looking for speck trips, just hit us up, let us know on that. Uh, the shiner bite right now is absolutely on fire. Uh, a week or a week or so ago, I had two guys from Maine had them for four days. They boated over 250 bass and some daggone good ones. Uh, we fished before the storm came in yesterday. We had a 915 yesterday. Yeah, I've seen that. That fish come totally out of the nice. water on a mat and smashed down on the shiner. It was amazing. It was the coolest <laughs> bite I've ever seen since I've been alive. So the shiner's over here. The shiner up. jumped on top of the mat and was up there flopping. Dang. Here comes this big old bass and just, I mean, sharked it. Mm. And the guy that I had with me, Wild Bill, man, he cranked on that thing. He goes, it's a good one. I said, I know it is. <laughs> I saw that joker. I could not believe it. I was so excited uh, just to see that bite, that those kind of bites get your blood pumping. Yeah. So the shiner bite's phenomenal. Uh, you know, we're fishing a little bit deeper water or shallow flats near deep water right now are holding a lot of fish. Uh, I've been mainly flipping for my artificial bites right now, at least my bigger bites. Mm -hmm. uh, the flipping bite right now is fantastic. I'm flipping right now since things are starting to grow, the hyacinths are starting to get thick. Um, I'm flipping a, at least an ounce and a half, sometimes a two ounce weight. Um, and I'm flipping just little creature baits, you know, and flip them in the mat. Usually as soon as it goes through, Mike, I mean, they're hammering it right away. Like, you know, it goes in, oh, I'm stuck on the bottom. No, I'm not. That's a big old bass. Right. And just hearing that, hearing that braid singing mm -hmm. is something else. Uh, I don't like it. Yeah. Broke my best flipping stick, what was that, two or three days ago? Mm. I tried, the day before that, I boat flip and... I think it was eight and a half, eight, six, eight and a half. Um, 
into the boat after flipping it out of a mat. Dang. And then the next day I tried to boat flip. It was a seven pounder. I broke the rod. You know, I'm hard on stuff, but the flipping bite right now is fantastic. Come get you some of that right now. Yeah. Um, the time. key is with that is finding that three to five foot of water uh, with a mat over top of it. You know, anywhere like that can hold a giant, giant bass. And we've been catching them like that. You know, Pat and I oh, caught man. them like that. We, uh, we're really, really, really getting on that flipping bite right now. So I'm really enjoying that. Mike, what are you up to? Well, I've been, uh, and out there in three forks a bunch but uh that lake they brought it up because i guess they took the water out of stick marsh and pushed it in there and for about shoot the last two weeks it's been just stellar really i mean I, you haven't seen me for shiners much i've just no. been throwing and it's any kind of worm any kind of swim jig any kind of uh, shad looking bait and it's funny because now is the shad spawn so you know new moon is halfway on those fish that are like this big and i've been throwing like little underspins and like on the edges because you'll see them in the morning doing all that you know yeah. and then in the when the sun gets about there they ball up but um heck of a worm by i mean just stellar worm by top water and um i took like three, four days off went up to georgia went trout fishing i had my biggest trout ever 12 8 on a five weight rod wow. and i broke a five weight rod on one that it was an jeff reed called it immovable oh, man. <laughs> and i i lost probably four that were like 14 15 pounds we're just fishing it's like fishing in a barrel but um so i just to clear my head i got you know you get a little burned out and i just went up there with my wife and me and jeff and then we all camped out and had a good time nice but here the fishing is i mean this is my favorite time because they just eat anything. Right? Oh, yes. You know, they really do. And, and uh, heck, I've, my most of my trips, like I said, people go, you need shiners? I go, ah. I mean, if I get shiners, it's a dozen or two. And hell, the shiners I got the other day, I fed them to the girls. I didn't even use them. <laughs> no, I didn't, didn't even break out a shiner. We probably catching 40, 50 fish yeah. on artificials. I mean, that's pretty good action. Yes. Enough yeah. to keep them in. You know, and, and in those times, I'm finding myself more and more being able to teach people. Um, just new stuff. Um, really honing in my uh, my pan optics. I'm, I'm fishing that stuff in three feet of water now. Oh, yeah. I'm really learning how to dial that in. And, um, it's just I don't know. It's just a great time to be alive. It, oh, it is. I I I had three guys. What was that? I, I had Jesse George and um, uh, one of their buddies that came with them this time. I had three guys on the boat. We had ten dozen shiners four hours yeah gone yeah that quick yeah and i'm talking one spot one hole yeah it's, well, it's amazing kind of because you could be on a hole without somebody pulling up and going deep 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 <laughs> yeah looking at you yeah it's all right stuff nice it's, it's been great i mean the fishing and i'm i'm excited because that, the frog bites really good yeah it's getting um, there could, the top water bites starting to turn on really couldn't good couldn't really kill them last night on a, on a on a frog but we have been um real early in the morning and late in the afternoon that frog bite's been been great and I, I ever since you gave me that popping frog i mean that thing who makes that by the way that frog that boy. is a uh toad thumper toad thumper frogs are my favorite frogs to throw right now thing is bad to the bone do you son. have to squeeze it to get the water out it doesn't take on a lot of water no it doesn't honest. take on a lot. Um, you know maybe after you catch a fish or something i've never seen a frog turn all the way around on itself yeah i mean it turns all the way around on itself and it's just amazing check out these toe thumper frogs I, they they have popping frogs those will turn around on themselves mm -hmm. yeah you can walk them mm -hmm. you can pop them uh and then of course they got the solid nose frogs that really walk and they really jet to the side almost like a spook mm -hmm. yeah and we've been crunching them pretty good on them I've been I've been throwing both the launch frog and that that popping frog and yeah. and, and uh, you know the real thick matted up stuff I'm throwing that that uh, launch frog on yeah and they're they're coming up through the thick stuff and just smashing that damn thing. Well, I've only got two more things. I got the navigation out of headwaters right now is pretty daggone good. Um, there's small blockages here and there in ditch 13, but you can get around them right now. There's a couple of them, um, so you can go all the way up the S Canal, hit the east west or what you know what we call ditch 13 and then you can go west from there you just have to go around the blockages just stay tight on them because uh, 
the lake is down. So all of those cuts coming off there that you'll come up next to are shallow. So just just stay tight to Look those. Look for high dirt. dirt. If you see high dirt, it's deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You're gonna have that ditch there. But but the navigation, everything is pretty good right now. And this is a momentous day today, Pat. Yeah. What? Yeah. Man, we got what? something in the mail today just for you. You your certification came through. No way. I, it, did. it came through, and I'm gonna give it to you right here in front of everybody. Your official, official Guggen Captain yeah. certification. Yeah, Mikey. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations, you. Mikey. Thank you. <laughs> official. In front what, of what does that mean? <laughs> Am I good? No, yeah. oh, you are good oh, to yeah. go. You are the official Guggen. You are part of the. Uh, cool. the, uh, the I'd Guggen like to thank the Academy now. for all the uh, the boats and. Uh, <laughs> Stay off my numbers. <laughs> hey, everybody, check us out. Felsmer Fishing HQ, FL Big Bass Adventures Guide Service. Hauling Come down Bass to see us. Hauling Bass Guide Service. He's got the airboat available. He's fishing water that we can't get and to. And he's got the credentials. And he's got the credentials. I am official. Woo, son. Everybody, we'll see you. We Thank love you. you. Come see us. Happy Father's Day. <laughs>